Okay, so yes, this will definitely be 10 minutes or less. Why? Because it is 11.04 p.m. I am just getting in from an amazing time as always at Christ Fellowship Church. And oh, number one, before you watch the other two videos, if you were not at Christ Fellowship tonight, please watch Bishop Lance Johnson's Mother's Day message. It's going to bless you and or offend you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, on October 30th, I have to look at the date, October 30th, last year, 2021, I was attending an event in Atlanta, Georgia. It was a three-day ministry event. It was a conference, actually. Speakers came in from all around the world, and they were honoring a particular person. For those who know me, I'm not big on conferences because it's like, okay, after a while, it's a conference after a conference. If you're not getting information and then going out and utilizing the information or the know-how or the training from the conferences, it, it's just, but anyway, so God let me to go to that conference. I go to the conference. I sit in the back. As you know, some of you know, the woman who got her, um, women, the woman who eyes were open, the ears were open. I'll put that testimony in this um, video description as well. Okay. There was a shirt. There is a shirt that I wear. Right? It is from Christ Fellowship. Obviously, it's from the Bible. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead. Yes. So this woman saw the shirt and she says to me, oh, I like that shirt. And as soon as she says it, I hear the Lord say, empty my wallet. So I go up to her. I find her at the conference because there was a few hundred people. And I'm like, I'm supposed to give you this. And her eyes just well with tears. She's like, thank you, you know, because she's been struggling. I'm like, well, you know, thank you, Jesus. So I walked away. We're going to call this woman Ophelia. Why? I'll tell you in a minute. So at the end of the, the day, I see Ophelia talking to another woman that I had met at a church that I used to attend prior to leaving for, for Korea. The woman was talking to Ophelia, and I saw the woman is like, oh, you know, all of this. And I'm like, oh, here we go. So I, I walk up to them because the, my bag was near the woman because I went to get coffee or whatever it was. And the, and the woman is saying, oh, you know, God understands. And I'm like, okay, normally when people in church, and again, church folk, different from the born again, talk people, church folk are, God understands your heart. Yeah, God understands your heart while you're in hell because you haven't repented and surrendered to Jesus Christ. So the woman begins to tell, Ophelia begins to tell the woman, the other woman from the church, you know, she's struggling with some things that she understands God knows my, understands my heart. And I was like, look, every heart that said, every person that says that, that means that they're in sin, they haven't become born again. And the church keeps telling you God understands your heart. When I said that to the woman, the woman growls, okay? Beautiful, hair nice, makeup, all precious. She starts growling. The other lady from the other church, you know, she jumps back and starts speaking in tongues. And I'm looking at her like, uh, the Bible says you speak in tongues edify you. This woman is now manifesting demonically. We need to pray accordingly. Granted, the Bible says when you don't know what to pray, pray in tongues. But that's a whole nother teaching. So the woman from the other church, let's call her Linda. So Linda says to Ophelia, I see, and she starts naming demonic spirits and all of that. And Ophelia says, no, I don't receive that. I am a deliverance inner healing minister and I teach, I'm the children's pastor of my children. And I'm like, hey, so you are not born again, demonized children's pastor. Ah, okay. And as I'm saying this to her, she looks like, not looks like, she looks, not looks like, she does the, uh, the motion as if she's going to attack Linda. Now, mind you, I'm the one saying, yeah, you need to be born again, repent, and be born again. And Linda is the one speaking in tongues, and Ophelia is going to attack. That's because we, we don't play that. We bind and all of that. Why am I sharing this with you? So I ended up, we had exchanged numbers prior. So I sent her a message saying, hey, I hope you got home safely. And I don't know if I'll ever see you or talk to you again, but you need to repent and become born again. And this, all this other stuff. And she sends me a message saying, you can't tell me I'm not saved. I am saved. I'm a child of God. And I'm like, I've done my job. 
my assignment. Well, tonight, as I'm leaving out, again, it's a long story, but I'm waiting to talk to someone. I'm near the entrance of the church, and this woman comes up to next stand to me, stands, and I'm sitting looking at the shirt, and she starts looking at the shirt, and she looks at me, she says, were you at the particular event in, in Atlanta last year? And then I remember, it is the woman, the, it was Ophelia. And I look at her, she looks completely different. And I start bawling. And she says, woman of God, woman of God, thank you so much. Thank you for offending me. Thank you for telling me the truth. No one wanted to tell me the truth because of my testimony. And she says that she's following the shit. She says, I was a sex trafficking. I was a prostitute for almost 15 years. And she said, and that night that I met you, she said, I was living with a man on drugs, out, drinking alcohol, the drugs, the weed and whatever else. And she was a deliverance and inner healing minister at her church and teaching the children church Bible study. And I'm like, what? And, I was, and so she said, after that, she said, I would look at your messages. And I'm like, this girl don't know who she is. And she don't know who she's talking to. And I'm minister such and such. And I'm minister of And I'm this and this. And then she says that, after, uh, she said she was like that for a couple of months. And then, and she, mind you, she said she kept going back to my messages. My, my text messages say, you need to repent because you are not born again. And she said a couple of months ago, two, about two months ago, she said, wait. Something's wrong. And I'm like, it, it, again, it's a long story. And again, I'm making this 10 minutes short, 10 minutes long or less. She surrenders to Jesus Christ. She gives a testimony about surrendering to Jesus Christ. I'm bawling. And all she said was just thank you for not being afraid to tell me the truth. Thank you for not being afraid to tell me I'm going to burn for eternity in hell if I don't repent and submit to Jesus Christ. I don't remember saying that, but clearly I did because it is what it is. Everyone, please listen to Bishop Lamb's message first, then the other two about the testimonies, the healing and deliverance and all of that. May you walk boldly proclaiming that Jesus Christ is Lord and if people's life does not look like this book, okay? And they call themselves, every, every, they call themselves little Christ, little Yeshua, child, child of God, whatever. If you are not living for him or desiring him, you need to stop it and repent. I, I'm from the Bronx, so yeah, I'm from New York. I love you guys, but we cannot be pacifying and bastardizing the gospel guys seriously <sighs> okay now